What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is the 21st of May. It is 4.45 a.m. on the East Coast. We're taking a look at Pangolin this morning. PNG USD. Welcome guys, all of the new and all of the current previous subscribers. Thank you guys for all the support. Hopefully everybody's doing well here in these markets. We had another fantastic follow through day yesterday the 20th of may huge seven plus percent day in bitcoin massive day in ethereum a lot of cryptocurrencies breaking out to the upside something is lacking this market right now and it's pangolin guys pangolin is either going to break out at any day now or it's going to fail and head lower because the rest of the markets are breaking out higher and we have something that has not yet broken out. What is that? That is PNG USD, Pan Golan. This thing is locked and loaded in my opinion and ready to make a massive move to the upside. And potentially we are right in front of it right now. It should be breaking out at any day now. As we saw, huge, huge, huge can't say it enough green candles yesterday in the cryptocurrency market we're seeing higher lows we're seeing higher highs across the board very nice day for aerodrome arc block pangolin is something i think we are on the brink here of a massive green candle to the upside let's take a deeper dive into the charts so we have a sideways market here going back Basically, the 27th of February was our top tick right up there under our, let's see, what was our top tick here it was 85. So I just have these circled because they're major, uh, major highs. They're important levels. We'll, we'll get back to that. We have a long consolidation here. We have support down here at 34, 137, 34, 300. And our current resistance right now is the 59 area you can see these two candles on the 27th and 28th and 29th of march right at that 59 we have a couple um candle wicks in that level as well 59 right here again on the 18th 59 that is some resistance holding the market back what i think we're very close to is a large break above the 59 area taking us up so a i have a target right now right around 65 for short term 65 should be hit pretty quick that's about a 15 percent move from where we're currently at let me double check that it's about a 15 percent move higher i think that could happen pretty quick um you know once this thing starts to move we have some resistance before that we have so we have the 59 obviously but i think that's going to break out you know basically be a breakout zone and then we have 63 600. once we get to the 65 we have a couple areas that could hold price back 68 5 550 excuse me and then we have 72 540 right in here so we have a lot of areas in this zone so basically when markets test areas so for this example it'll be testing an area above the market so when markets test areas above created lower tested it again tested it again tested it again at some point it needs to break out otherwise it's going to get crushed to the downside it keeps hitting its head on this ceiling and at some point, we're expecting all of this energy in this consolidation to take off to the upside. That's what I'm looking for overall. I mean, you have a pretty big inverse head and shoulders here. I know it's not perfect. Some people will tear me apart for that. I understand. I get it. But it's there, so I want to point it out. And that's a bullish pattern leading to an upside breakout. So we'll just take it one day at a time. We'll take it for, for starters here. I think a 15% move is very possible. And I think that's where this market's going to start. Maybe we see a slight pause 
at that 65 area on the money. That'll take us above the the highs of the 28th and 29th, and that'll take us back over to these areas here, which were the 28th of February, as well as the, uh, the 2nd of March. And then above that, like I said, you have 68, you have 72, and then it's, you know, we're over here to this circle, which is the 27th of February, and those were 85 for the highs. So I think it's, it's on the edge right now of a very large breakout. We tried to break out here on the 10th. We got pushed back down. We tried to break out once again here on the 18th. Um, you know, so far that hasn't gained any momentum and that's what we want to see. It's tried one, two, three, four. It's tried five times. You know, at some point here, we should see a very large move to the upside, whether it holds or not. That's the thing. You could see a very large move higher, uh, a candle, I should say. And then you get a big wick and, you know, the body ends up being down here or something. So you essentially have a, a big reversal. And that's what we saw over here on the the top tick of this move right here. We had a big, big candle. Most of it was a wick. The body was end up being down here. But so I look at these as let me get the correct tool consolidations are basically energy built up so i think of it as a spring like a slinky compressed and it wants to you know release that energy and we're looking for a bullish um energy release because markets are trending higher right now we have bitcoin breaking out um back in an up ten up trend at least for the short term we have ethereum breaking out etc if markets were bearish and this was a bearish pattern, then I would look for continuation lower. But that's just not what I see right now. Something else I want to cover real quick is back in here, we had this very long consolidation period, which led to a insane rally within just a couple days. What are we in right now, guys? Consolidation period. And I think as long as the markets hold to the upside, we're going to be in for a very nice surprise and see a big, big Pangolin um, rally higher. And I have some targets up there. So it looks like my highest target right now for PNG, which is quite a bit higher. It's $1.51 way up there. That's my top target right now. Keep in mind, we're trading at 56, it looks like, 56. $1.51, my top target, 117 below that. And, you know, all of these other price levels that do have a play on the market. So from where we're trading at today up to that 151, you're about 100 and we call it 160, call it 170% move to the upside. So we'll see. We'll see, guys, if Bitcoin can hold its, its gains break out into new highs. Man, Pangolin could be breaking out at any moment. I think it's a big opportunity here. So... Guys, thanks for watching. If you are not yet a subscriber, go ahead and join us here on the channel. Let me know your thoughts on Pangolin. This thing looks ready to go, in my opinion. Of course, not financial advice. Please make your own financial decisions. All links down below. It does help support the channel. Appreciate it, guys. It allows me to put more time into this. You have a great day. It is Tuesday, the 21st of May. Will Pangolin make a big, large, bullish breakout? to the upside. Let me know down in the comments.